Horse Racing fans, welcome back to the channel. Royal Ascot is finally here. It's felt like a long week between the Derby and Royal Ascot, but we are finally here. And I thought I'd start off with a £25 challenge for day one. So if you folks out there can pick the winner of the 340, the King's Stand, the 420, the St James's Palace and the Ascot Stakes, which is the 5 o'clock, £25 cash will be coming your way just comment down below but the criteria is you do have to be subscribed like the video and yeah just like subscribe comment down below the winners of the three races and do make sure to try get as much engagement as possible the more engagements the more likely i am to do it throughout the week up until a saturday so do get involved it's probably one of the easiest ones i've done in fairness it is group one action at the end of the day but we've got two to one four to seven favorites and then a bit of a truckier one, 5 o'clock Ascot Stakes with a 92 favourite, but still a winnable race if you can get a bit of luck on your side. But we're going to start off previewing the cards with a few selections. We're going to skip out the Queen and it should just be a possession for Bailly done. So the Coventry Blackbeard is putty forward for Aidan O'Brien, so is Persian Force who won the Buckles B for Richard Han, and that backed up since quite nicely. At New, we went up to six furlongs for the first time in a sh in a small enough field, but I think it was a straightforward win, and this horse had plenty in hand. The one I'm siding with though is Rousing on call, Richard Fahey. I'm hoping this can be like a little bit of a perfect power and improver for Richard Fahey. He won nicely at Beverly over five furlongs on its penultimate start, then was much better over six furlongs, beat a pretty short poised favour in Bleach. That was a nice performance, one by two and a half lengths on the fast ground. Conditions are set to be the same again, so maybe the same result will be coming up next. The King Stand Nature Strip, five to two in the market. If the Australians are right about how good this horse is, he will be winning and winning quite impressively, you think. The US and the Australians seem to be quite confident in their horses. I'm siding with Nature Strip at 5-2. to two. I just think the amount of hype that comes around him, he might just be a little bit above average. In a race where the English sprinters aren't really that good at the end of the day, let's be totally honest, Twilight Calls might just be a top-end handicap. It hasn't won group races, so I doubt they'll be winning a group one today. So he's probably a poseable. Next up, we're going to finish off with one tip in the 5 o'clock, the Ascot stakes rock eagle at 20 to 1 looks quite an attractive price he's a horse that hasn't been tested that much over marathon trips is still unexposed but he was fifth at newmarket over two and a quarter miles in the sazawa which off a mark of 100 has been lightly worse since then it was a decent comeback at haydock over the mile and a half which was never going to be far enough for me just got a little bit tired in the final furlong but that should have set him up nicely for this being dropped two pounds as well Rob Hornby takes the ride and he's definitely one to keep an eye on off nearly top weight it would be a big ask for him to go and win this but I think he can run into a place and before I finish it off I do have a preview a written preview in the comments down below which is just a two minute read if you'd like to see some more selections and thoughts and more of the races do make sure to check that out but apart from that thanks a lot for watching do like and subscribe and comment the winners of them three races down below and i'll see you for day two very soon